in the 80s and 90s, we thought that the, the well, the bombs and the bullets would continue on forever. We lost 3,000 people. I met many of their families on both sides. And in 2003, we were pushing for, we were trying to impress upon all sides that we should sign the peace process, the Good Friday Agreement. And at one point in time, it looked as though we were, we were going to lose the peace process. And one of the issues was that there was a potential for the Republican movement to split. And there were many that were arguing that they would continue what they described as the armed struggle. And I went out and argued for the peace process. And I made this speech to a group of Republicans because one of the, pro the problems that we had is if there was a feeling that they were defeated or humiliated, and this was on both sides, they would not stand down. So I made this speech and I urged them, I urged them to put their weapons away and to participate in the peace process. And it was a difficult time. I think my choice of words were wrong. I accept that. What should you not have said? If the I, should, I, sh I should not have said the issue about the honouring. I actually said afterwards that, that there's no cause that justifies the loss of life in this way. Yeah. I said that. Yes, I did. And, I, and what, what I tried to do for both sides is to give them a way out with some form of dignity, otherwise they wouldn't lay their arms right. down. But more importantly... And can, I just, can I just say this? What, can I just say this? Because this has been raised with me time and time again. I accept it was a mistake to use those words, but actually if it contributed towards saving one life or preventing someone else being maimed, it was worth doing because we did hold on to the peace process. There was a real risk of the Republican movement splitting and some of them continue with the armed process. If I gave offence, and I clearly have, from the bottom of my heart, I apologise. I apologise. Thank you. <laughs>